Vanilla, we're going downstairs, baby. Come in. You got one? Hello, hello, and good morning. It is almost 7.30. Um, I've had breakfast, gave the cats breakfast, uh, and started laundry, because I'm supposed to do laundry today. I have no problem with doing laundry. There we go. I have no problem doing laundry. The biggest issue is just forgetting, waking up, trying to watch TV, and I'm like, oh, I didn't do it. So we have a little mini system. <laughs> Little system set up where uh, hubby, when he wakes up and goes to work, he texts me, you know, good morning. If he remember, do the laundry. I'm like, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I watched an episode of Shit's Creek. And um, I'm trying to think. I think there's another hour and a half until polls start closing in the U.S., uh, I think I'll watch one more episode of Schitt's Creek and then figure out, uh, then look at the live streams and see what's going on. But I have probably a half hour, 40 minutes for laundry. Vanilla wants something. Don't know what. He's just getting in trouble. Vanilla! What, baby? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm going to go check on him. But what I think I bring to the position is a worldly approach to merchandising and sales tactics. We're not over this can't keep Killing something. Something debilitating. You're the ill one, but I'm I'm feeling this. I thought it was done, but it's still filled with water. Why? Hello? Hello? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have no idea what happened, but, okay, my, <laughs> I don't know what happened for sure, but my thought right now is when I did the setting, I did not set it to, that doesn't make sense, like, you have to tell it to get rid of the water, that doesn't make sense at all, so, we'll see, I'll, I'll go check on it in a few, kind of worrisome. Youth. There. Done. Yay. One question that I don't know here is what's happening in the African American community of Miami Dade. That is the one part, I mean, in the granular, you would get precincts, but everywhere else, Biden's hitting his numbers and exceeding his numbers. That would tell you Miami Dade, where they were having some problems there for early vote, and it came out also on election day. This election has me so nervous. Like, I don't even know where to think um where to start thinking i guess uh <clears throat> i'm watching some of the you know they're talking about um people they have interviewed and things like that and one person before that they interviewed said they were vo voting for biden but then just like they don't like trump but they like the policies so they have to vote for Trump, and uh, that should not be right. I mean, you need to look at the person, especially things that Trump is doing are very fascist and, like, very Hitler-esque that, like, you can't just say, well, that's okay because I get my way in this or something. Nothing being said there, but also 
Pennsylvania, I think it was. Uh, usually people are very, um, what they said were shy Trump voters that they didn't want to get judged for Trumping, for Trumping for vote, for voting for Trump. Um, so they're very quiet about it. And I can see that because there can be this assumption, there could be this assumption that if you vote for Trump, you are a racist, fascist, um, anti-feminist. You want your woman cooking and, you know, barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen making you dinner. There could be this assumption in that. So I can see where people wouldn't want to say they want to vote for Trump. And I just want to say I know that not all Trump voters are like that. There are some and they, that are like that. And, but in Pennsylvania, they're shy Biden voters because um, they've seen other, like, say, Biden signs on the lawn getting destroyed by their neighbors that are voting for Trump or windows broken and things like that. And I'm just like, that is not okay. Like, you have a right to uh, both sides, but having, like, breaking windows or threatening people or, I mean, I see news headlines of, like, somebody taking somebody's dog because they're voting a certain way and this and that. The Trump supporters and the stories I'm hearing are on that side that just, that is not okay. That is the Nazi hits Hitler. It's not, I you know, everyone should have the right to their opinion as long as it does not hurt others and smashing windows and things like that. I don't know. I mean, you could say the same thing for protests, um, Black Lives Matter, but I don't really know enough to comment on that in terms of like who's really doing the, the rioting and things like that. I, I, I'm I nervous. I'm nervous for the United States. Uh, I remember in 2016, there was a joke thing saying that if Hillary was uh, elected, she would be the first woman president. And if Bernie was elected, he would be the first um, Jewish president. And I think it was uh, Cruz. Um, if he got elected, he would be the first Latino president. And if Trump got elected, he would be the last president. How close to home that feels and correct that the presidentship would end with him. Like, I think that's a fear that a lot of people have. I mean, you hear, I don't know, like... It's just crazy. It's a crazy day, and I'm probably going to watch Shit Creek, <laughs> Shit's Creek while waiting for a whole bunch of info to come in and things like that. But we'll see how this turns out. Just, wow, what a day. Mm. Hi! Uh, hi! Interesting. Um... These were some of the, I think, Amazon Prime type deliveries. And the last few days, it's been an older man and an older woman in their van delivering it and not the actual Kuroneko uh, drivers. So that's interesting. But packages are here. Yay! Oh, it's that time again to kind of bring this today's vlog to an end and um, get some sleep. Hubby's upstairs sleeping already. It's about 8.25. Um, I'm also tired. I have work tomorrow. Uh, yeah. But um, uh, when Hubby got home, the... Uh, People who brought the package earlier, the packages, brought another one because that took longer to get here, the drill. And I did build a, a couple shelves. I got them ready.
to actually put on the wall and that it was so much easier with the drill that we have the cat step thing that doesn't have instructions so we have to figure out how to put that up but that's this weekend um yeah so i think i am like maybe an episode of Shit's creek and then go to bed or something like that so uh, until next time tomorrow i hope ja. no why Nina.